Hey guys, Mellow Modesty here on YouTube, and today I will be revealing Batman Volume 1 of The Court of Owls. This collects, I believe, the first six or seven issues of Batman The New 52 and collects the first half of the huge event story arc involving The Court of Owls, which is very reminiscent to Morrison's run in The Black Hand and R.I.P. and all of that stuff. However, I probably like this more. Um, I guess I'll just get into it. First off, I would like to let you guys know I'm going to try to be using... I'm going to try using a uh, video editor thing app on my iPad, so I don't even know if this video is going to get uploaded because it might not work. But, I can always hope. So, first thing I'd like to say is that Scott Snyder is one of the best Batman writers ever, in my opinion. He is such a good writer for Batman, for his voice, for everything. Um, he, I can't, off the top of my head, I can't think of any other Batman writer who I've think who I think has done anything as good as this. Um, I'm not saying this is the best Batman book. My favorite is still Dark Knight Returns, and Killing Joke I like more, and The Long Halloween. But just, this is amazing. Um, the Batman Death of a Family that came out this week is amazing, which I have a review of in my weekly pull list, by the way. Um, and I hear The Black Mirror is amazing, which I have yet to read, but I really want to. But he is such a good writer for Batman, and he's just awesome. Um, the story is about how Batman is... The story is about how Batman is in Gotham, obviously, and he runs in with a assassin called the Talon, who works for the Court of Owls, which are a fairy tale folk song. Like, he doesn't believe that they're real, but the, he finds out that the Court of Owls basically rule Gotham and that it's their city, not his. And just crazy, crazy stuff happens. Um, the artwork is by Greg Capolo, which is very good, and I think I'm gonna cut it here and show you guys some of the artwork. So guys, now I'm going to show you the artwork. A lot of you guys probably know the artist Greg Capullo, Capullo from his work on Spawn. And um, he is a very famous Spawn artist next to Todd McFarlane. He is probably the most famous. And he is a great, great artist on this book. Um, the story starts out with Batman trying to stop a riot in Arkham Asylum. And as you can see, um, you get a huge spread shot of Batman's rogue gallery, and you get this awesome fight, and he has a really cartoony, stylistic style about him, and I just really like his style. Um, the only thing that I don't like is how he draws Bruce Wayne. I... Actually, I really don't like how he draws Bruce Wayne. I think his Batman looks awesome with his whole, like, facial expressions and his stood-out chin. But then when he draws Batman, he looks like an anime character. Like, as you can see, Bruce... I mean, sorry, when he draws Bruce Wayne, not Batman. Bruce Wayne with spiky hair. I mean, come on, man. I think that looks pretty lame, but his artwork for Batman is awesome, and then we get introduced to the Court of Owls Talon's Killing, where they use these throwing knives with owls on them to kill people by stabbing them like 80 times. And the covers for this series are awesome too, especially the variants, which are all in black and white, which you can't really see. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but he's really good at drawing action. 
think there's a picture of Bruce Wayne getting thrown out of a building and Batman jumping through a helicopter's glass. And it's just really cool. It's definitely one of the better, uh, like, Batman story arcs I've read in a very long time. And, I mean, I don't know if Scott Snyder's been writing Batman fan fiction for all of his life or what, but he really has a voice for Batman. That is for sure. And the villain in this book is awesome. Talon is so cool. Court of Owls are so cool, and basically they, like, rule Gotham, and nothing happens without their say-so, and they sentence Bruce Wayne to death, and it is just a really crazy story. One of the biggest downfalls to this story is that it's only one, um, that it's only one half of the story. And what you find out also is that Bruce Wayne's great-great-grandfather was very superstitious and how most buildings don't have a 13th floor, or they do, but they don't have anything in it. They create a windowless room with... They create a windowless room with nothing in it to trap all the bad luck. Yeah, that is where the Court of Owls, the Talons make their nests is in these rooms meant to stop or meant to trap bad luck and it's just really creative and really imaginative I think and the, the artwork, the action, the storytelling is just awesome there's some really cool stuff with paneling as you can see here and there's this really great scene where Batman's in a maze that uses panels that... Yeah, I am gonna spoil for you guys. Sorry, but I'm gonna spoil it for you guys. So, Batman is in this maze-like thing. And you're reading. And then it changes the way you read the book. So, instead of reading regularly, now you turn it to its side. Let me turn the next page. It's side still. And then upside down. And it gets really confusing, actually, which is what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to make you feel as confused as Batman because you get confused which way do I turn the page or what's going on. And it's just really cool. Um, and yeah, that was sort of a spoiler, but not a huge one. The cover art is awesome, and just the story itself is really intense, sort of a mind fuck with the whole Batman going insane. The artwork is really, really good. I know I've said that like a million times, but it really is. I love Batman's new design for the new 52 also. It's a really cool design, and I love what the talent looks like. He has an awesome design too. And it's just really cool. So, now I guess I will speak of extras. See you in a second. Hey guys, as for extras in this hardcover version, you get a... You don't get a bunch of extras, but you get a few. You get a variant cover gallery, where you can see all the different covers. Which, actually, to tell you the truth, I prefer the original covers. Except for this one. This one's pretty cool. And... This one's pretty cool too, but for the most part I prefer the regular ones by Greg Capolo. And you get some script, page layouts, standard fare for extras, some sketches by Capolo. And that is it. Um, nothing really too much to talk about for extras, so I'll see you for closing comments. Hey guys, so as you can see, I loved Batman The Court of Owls Volume 1, and I would absolutely suggest this along with the second volume, which I don't think is out yet, but when it comes out, definitely pick it up. And if you can't, or if you don't like graphic novels, get on the new Death of the Family series. Do you guys see that purple thing? That's really weird. Anyways, I'm going to cut the review here because I am out of time. Check this out. Bye.